All right, this is uh, Chris Mitchell coming here from Lifetime Athletic in Green Valley, Ultimate Hoops, here with uh, Mark Trevino from uh, The Mob, or is it The Mob Rises? What is it really supposed to be called? The Mob. The Mob Rises is just when we came back. The, we rejoined our team again, so it's The Mob now. Okay, so I've, I've seen it both ways, and I was always wondering which way it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So now how long have you guys been playing together? I've seen stat sheets that seem to go back for years. How long have you guys been together? I think probably about three years, you know, a couple of guys here and there, but we've had a core group of guys for about three years. Okay, so um, for those of you who don't know, the mob plays in both the Summerlin location as well as here in Green Valley. Uh, you guys have played at Summerlin for a while, and then I think you guys have played all of our seasons over here now. Is that correct? Yep, every season, every championship game. Just haven't broke through yet. All right, so I was going to ask you, we'll get to that part at the end. Uh, this is Vegas, so we have to do a little... Uh, a little gambling on the back end of the interview and kind of puts the odds on that sort of a thing. So, But talk to me a little bit, uh, Mark. You guys have uh, normally done very, very, very well, and I think you're still one of our elite teams. Uh, but your record doesn't look as good this season as perhaps the way you've even played. So at 2-2, two and two, you've had a couple of close games that you just haven't been able to pull out, um, yet you've uh, played some of our better competition. So talk to me a little bit about this season, how it's been going for you guys, kind of where your strengths are, what you, how you feel. You guys kind of need to turn things around a little bit to kind of get back to that championship game. What are your thoughts? We're just, we have a bunch of new guys or some old guys that are back, and so we're just trying to jail right now. Um, not really worried about it. We uh, just need the time. We usually try to get it together at the end of the season. And um, our, our strength really is our defense. We really know how to turn it on, and we're just trying to get used to changing it up, playing zones and mans, kind of work it different, trying to do both, a little bit of both. Mainly our, our, our strength is our man defense. So we're trying to get used to everybody right now. And I think at the end of the season, we'll come together really well. Yeah, I was going to say that seems to be the strength of your team is that is two things, in my opinion. It looks like the the team defense is always really up there and then the ability to move the ball around oh, yeah. and unselfish play. So uh, looking at that, I saw this that Chase is normally averaging seven, seven and a half assists a season. He's down to about five and a half assists a season this this time. But a couple of other people are up. So um, do you attribute that more to still just trying to get in the flow with the rest of the team? Or is it really just that the ball's being spread out a little bit more the way you guys want it to be? Yeah, we're trying to spread it out, trying to get as many touches as we can. And the way we do that is defense, getting more stops and trying to get every Everybody on our team can score, and some nights this person is going to score more than the other, but every, we're usually together, and then as long as we're making them, we're happy, as long as we play good defense as a team. All right, so you guys uh, you guys actually do epitome the, the team concept, and that's actually kind of rare in basketball these days. So coming up this week, you guys have a, a big game against Houdini. They're undefeated. Uh, like yourselves, they've played in all four of the seasons. Like yourselves, they've been right there at the end when it comes to playoffs. And right like yourselves, they haven't quite been able to pull it out very much. The first season they had it kind of split up a little bit for the spring, summer, fall seasons. Got some of their other guys there and split into multiple teams. Yeah. Haven't been back to the championship quite since. But uh, the big addition of Lou Kelly, 37 points a game that he's averaging since they got him over there. Uh, what do you think about that? Who's going to guard him? What do you think is going to happen this week? Uh, we're not going to give that away yet. We're going to do that in game time. I can't get, can't get any of that out of you? You're going to play a Bill Belichick on me? Well, you, you pretty much know who's going to guard him. I mean, so we'll, we'll wait till game time to show that. But Luke Kelly's good, and he can stroke it. He's played UNLV, one of the scoring leaders in UNLV. So that guy can play. So it's going to be good. We're excited. We love to play Houdini. Houdini's been playing together for more than five years, I think, is what I heard. They've been playing at other leagues. So they're always a good team, good group of guys. Charlie, Michael, all them guys, man, they can play. So we're looking forward to that tomorrow. It's uh, going to be a showdown of two teams that like to play very well together. However, uh, it's kind of the showdown of the young guys versus the older guys. Uh, Houdini has been together for years. I think 14, 15 years they've been playing together, at, like you said, at another gym, another club that's no longer around uh, before they all joined Lifetime last January. Uh, and then you guys, uh, I have a little have a little bit of an age advantage on them. You guys plan on trying to push them a little bit, you think, and try to wear them out? Oh yeah, we try to push everybody. <laughs> I mean, that's our goal. Is just you, you're not going to keep up with us, or you're going to try. So we try to just keep pushing it and make you tired. And then uh, second half is try to we try to do that in our game there. All right, now to the now to the little bit of the fun part. We are in Vegas. We got to do a little bit of gambling here. All right, so uh, Houdini, the mob. Let's uh, let's go with a plus or minus. Are so they're the, they're four and zero. Oh. You're two and two. Um, so what do you think? Houdini, the mob, who's plus, who's minus? Give me a spread. What do you think? Well, you guys put Houdini minus seven, so I'm kind of have to go mob plus five. 
I'm You're thinking a 12 point swing there. Yes, sir. I think we'll see. I kind of got some insider information, so that's how I do in, in Vegas. You got to know somebody inside. No, just I think us by five. I got to put us going as winning. I can't do the other team winning. So can't be a Pete Rose and bet against your own team. No, sir. No. And come on, just not, not, none of that stuff's gonna happen. Come on, you can't give me anything like that. No, no, no oh. insider. We're gonna we're gonna win. So. All right, here with uh, with Mark Trevino, where we've got uh, Mob plus five uh, going into the weekend. Now, you did say you're kind of hoping to break through a little bit, get to the championship game. What do you think the odds are on that? Five to one, three to two? What do you think? Give me some odds. I think the odds are really well. I think it's a pick right now. We've been to the championship every season. We just we just we just got to get through and win that one. We're so close. So hopefully we'll get there again this season, and and then I'd love another shot at it. Hopefully you put a banner on our on the wall here at Green Valley. Same there. Mob. There you go. Well, there we go. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mark. Appreciate it. Thank Best you. of luck to you tomorrow night. Again, game of the week, Houdini versus the mob. And I heard it here first. We've got the mob at plus five.